Well, hey, we're back over here at Williams Gun Site this week. We're here with Rob Cans, who is a gunsmith extraordinaire. We've had you on the show for years and years, and just wanted to kind of stop in today, Rob, and talk a little bit about rifle maintenance. We're here in the middle of the summer. Probably not everybody is thinking rifles, but probably some of the folks that are heading out west to do some big game hunting are. What are some things we could be doing, guys like me that don't probably pay enough attention to their guns, what could we be doing in the summer to make sure they're ready for season? Well, getting them out right now is really the first thing to get done. Um, make sure you get them out of your cases, look them over really well. Uh, check them for rust, it's a big one that we get. You know, A couple days before opener, people show up with guns that have been in their cases all summer, mm -hmm. haven't been shot or looked at at all, and they've got rust either in them or on them. So Now, do a lot of people keep their guns in cases? All the, it's not a, I mean, what would you recommend for that? Yeah, your case uh, will hold moisture. That's one of the big problems. Wow. So keep, keep, keeping them in a case is a difficulty. Um, not everybody has a safe, mind you. But if you're going to store a gun in a case, make sure that it's dry first then spray it down with a good silicone product out oh, on the market okay. and let it dry and cure for a couple of days and put your guns in that and it should be a lot better. You know, granted, you need to wipe your guns down with oil both inside and out. Yeah, talk about maybe a little bit about that because I know, again, me, I'm probably the poster child for not treating all my guns the right way. Uh, I do wipe them down, but how often should you be doing, you know, the the, the action, the barrel, how, how often should we clean it? Every time we shoot it? Or? Generally, every time you shoot it, you should clean it and wipe it down. Um, you don't have to go crazy with cleaning it, um, so long as you swab the bore with some solvent um, and uh, then dry it out and use a preservative oil. There are quite a few really good ones on the market nowadays. And then wiping it down again every time you handle it. So if you get it out and show it to a buddy, wipe it down when you put it away because people have salt and acids in their hands um, and that will corrode a gun pretty rapidly in some cases. Okay, and any tips on the guys that are going to be heading out west, anything they should be doing uh, to their guns this time of year because they're only a month or, so, <clears throat> month or so away from heading out there. Yeah, actually there's a couple of really important things. Uh, anybody who's going to hunt in the cold, whether it's out west or here, you need to make sure your gun is not over lubricated. That's a really big one. Um, oil will turn into a kind of a sludgy product when it gets cold and can cause misfires. Uh, semi-autos that can cause them to fail the cycle too. Um, but one of the big things is, is if you're going out west, that usually means higher elevations. That changes the ballistics of your gun quite a lot. So if you're sighting in your gun here, that same sight in won't count out there because the air is a lot thinner in higher elevation. Usually it's drier out there too and that matters for humidity. Now, you guys offer some services here, <clears throat> other places do too, but for accuracy, when it comes to like a trigger job, maybe explain to our viewers that you know don't know exactly what that entails, why does that help a gun? Well, if you look at a lot of the factory triggers, they're quite heavy by certain standards. Um, a lot of guns out of the box will have a trigger pull of about seven pounds. It's pretty common. Mm. The pull is also long, and sometimes it's what's referred to as being creepy, where it'll move and stop and move and stop, and then it'll fire at some point. You don't want to have to do that. You don't want to have to concentrate on how you're pulling the trigger. You just need to pull it, and it's supposed to basically break like you're breaking a glass rod. Hmm. Um, so when we do a trigger job, we smooth the contact surfaces down to, say, 1,500 grit, 2,000 grit, so it's mirror-like. So hmm. there, there are no striations across the uh, sear surface. Um, then you adjust the sear tension and the amount of take up on the sear surface so there's minimal movement as well, all maintaining safety at the same time. Okay, so we get down that to like three pound ish, is that what you're? Three, two and a half to three pounds is a good weight for most people. Okay. Uh, myself, I shoot about a pound and a half, but I shoot more than the yeah. average individual. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, the three pound trigger pull is very acceptable. Okay, well, there you go, right here from the gunsmiths, <laughs> right here at his desk, and lots of good things to think about as we're getting ready for the upcoming deer season, even though we're here in the middle of the summer. Some good tips for us. Thanks, Rob. You're welcome.